Hello everyone, uh, in today's video, we will going to be talking about the basic laws of Boolean algebra. So, some fundamental relation of Boolean algebra have been discussed in the previous videos. So, a list of, so this is it, this is what we've discussed in the previous video, the logical addition, multiplication, complement rules, but there are is also so this is just a chunk or the tip of the iceberg of boolean algebra we have exactly we have also like more rules about boolean algebra which can be proved by proof by perfect induction so so these are the rules 19 rules that i know of and an example of this rule like for example this rule nine i've i've talked about this states that double complementation of a variable results in the original variable so for example if if x is if x if we complement the x if x is one we double complement it then it equals to zero and if zero we complement zero this equals to one so that is the rule nine. Uh, so rule ten, rule ten and eleven. We have also rule ten and eleven, which are known as the commutative laws. Express that the fact that the order, the order in which a combination of terms is performed, does not affect the result of the combination. So rule ten is the commutative law of addition which states that the order of addition does not affect the sum and the rule 11 is the law of multiplication which states that the order of multiplication uh, does not affect the product so if you can see they are interchange rule 12 and 13 is are the associative law Rule 12 states that in the addition of several terms, the sum which will be obtained if the first term is added to the second term and then the third term is added will be the same as the sum obtained if the second term is added to the third and then to the first term added. Rule, 10 is, uh, rule 13 is the associative law of multiplication stating that in a product with three factors, any two may be multiplied together, followed by the third. So we have the commutative loss and the associative loss. So rule 14 is a distributive law, states that the product of a monomial, monomial x multiplied by a polynomial y plus z is equal to the sum of the products of the monomial multiplied by each term of the polynomial x, y, z. So it's just, you just distributed. Uh, the three laws, commutative, associative, and distributive, may be extended to include any number of terms. Yeah. So the commutative law for multiplication may also be extended. And yeah, they, the distributive law is also extended. So. The next we will think that we will, we will discuss is the proof by perfect induction. So notice that in rule 17, it does not apply to a normal, normal algebra. So the rule may be obtained from the preceding, prece, preceding rule, which is the proof by perfect induction. So in order to prove the rule 17, we will gonna do it in proof by perfect induction. So let's copy this so that we can prove that this is equals to this. So we, rule 17 is x plus y, then x plus z. x plus y and x plus z. So. We're gonna we're going to distribute this x x x then x z x z then y x we can just put x y so y z that 
So as you can see, there is a rule in our Boolean algebra rules that states that this 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 equation right here is equals to one, and it's rule seven here. X multiplied to x is just equals to x. So we just put x here plus xz plus xy plus yz. And then we're going to factor x out. And yeah, uh, we have to arrange this xy plus xz plus yz and we're going to factor in this in this chunk of equation here the x and the z here so it will be equals to x 1 plus y plus z x plus y so as you can see there is a rule also that states that this is equal to 1 and that is rule 2. So 1 plus x is equals to 1. So we can just do this 1. Put this in 1. And then x plus z x plus y. And we're going to distribute the z. So x plus x z plus y z. And then we're going to factor x out in this thing. x plus 1 plus z plus yz. And from rule 2, rule 2, this is equals to 1. So this is 1. And our equation is, final equation is x, y, z. And therefore, this is correct. That at the rule 17 that x plus y times x plus z is equals to x plus y z so so we we are going to yeah to do a to do a truth table out of this so that you can understand that they are both equal so in order to understand this we will construct that this here is equals to this simple equation we were gonna we will construct a truth table. So I have a table here, and it is x plus y, this, x plus y, z, and this here. So we're going to fill this table out and check if this, if the output here is the same and the output here. So in this table, we have a logical multiplication which states the rules that if it, it, it is only a one when both inputs is a a one so zero then zero 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 or uh, zero one One. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. This is a one. This is a one. Oh, my eyes got distracted. So, one and one is a one. Zero and zero is zero. Zero one is zero. One and zero is zero. One and one is one. And in the next one, we have a logical addition. We add this to the x. And the rule states that in logical addition, that it, if either of the two input is a 1, then the output is a 1. So, 0 and 0 is 0. 0 and 0 is 0. 0 and 0 is 0. 0 and 1 is a 1. And 1 and 0 is a 1. 1 and 0 is a 1, 1 and 0 is a 1, and 1 and 1 is a 1. And yeah, this is the output of the x plus yz. And into the next one, we have a logical addition here. 
which is x plus y. We add x plus y. If either of the input is a 1, then the output is a 1. So this is 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And we have also a logical addition, which is x plus z. And if either of the the x and z have a 1, then the output here is a 1. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, and 1, 1 and 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 and 0, 1, 1, 1, and 1. And we have to multiply this too. So if if both it is only one, if both input is both one, because it's a logical multiplication. So zero zero is zero, zero one is zero, one and zero is zero, one one is one, one one is one, one one is one, one one is one, and one one is one. So as you can see, they are both equals. So the the rules of the algebra is actually this is very helpful for us in doing the decoder or any circuit because these rules can help us simplify our circuit. So yeah, it involves this and it simplifies our boolean expression so that our circuits will get simpler and we don't want to buy more ICs or integrated circuits because yeah the expression is simpler so and one thing I want to point out here is that rule 15 and 16 are also not rules in normal algebra so the following are, so how do the, we get this uh, row 15 and 16? So we get that in doing distributive law. So we, we are going to uh, prove this. So x plus xz is equals to x only. So x, so row 15, right? x plus xz is equals to x. So what we're going to do is, yeah, factor x out. Then 1 plus z, then as we all know, this is by rule 2. Rule 2 is this. So this is going to be 1. So it is equals to x. So x plus z is equals to x. So this is correct, rule 15. And rule 16 is this, right? x plus x plus y is equals to x. x plus y is equals to to x so we're going to distribute this x times x x times x and then x y equals to x then yeah we all know that this is an x from rule 7 so x times x is x plus x y plus x and we have to factor the x out so x1 plus xy, i plus y, sorry, plus y, x, and we all know this is equals to 1 by rule 2. So, yeah, x is equals to x. So that is how we get the rule 15 and 16. In the next videos, we will gonna be doing a lot of these rules here. We will gonna apply this. We will gonna apply this algebra rules, Boolean algebra rules to our circuit so that it will get easier to construct. And yeah, but I would also teach you the Carnot map, which is much simpler. But yeah, it's it, it is also nice knowing this because you can also combine Carnot map and this to build the most simplest circuit that you can. So see you on the next videos.